So, the new Commando v Rug just released in Tower Defense Simulator, and there's people saying it's trash, there's people saying it's awesome, and some in the middle, but whatever you think, here's the best way to use the Commando v Rug. So, the one thing I wanted to get clear about this tower first, you are using it for its missiles, not its guns, the guns are the side thing. The guns don't detect many things for a reason. That is because the missiles themselves detect everything already. The missiles can splash, stun, hit hiddens, hit leads, and hit flying enemies, so that is why the guns were made the way they are. Kind of not that good. So anyways, after using it in a match of Fallen mode, I found that it has similar usage to something like a crook boss or trapper, this usage being its mid-game potential. It can handle mid-game hordes extremely well thanks to the missiles, and although it can't handle early game like Kirk Boss or Trapper can, it makes up for that by bringing some good splash damage to the table along with stuns that cater more to mid to late game usage rather than early. It's kind of like if you combine Trapper's Landmine and Bear Trap into this one missile ability. If you are using the Commando, you shouldn't start placing it down until you at least have a solid source of main DPS down first, and you can afford at least two of the max level Commandos. The Commando is strictly a sub DPS unit that's meant to synergize with raw DPS units rather than being its own thing. In short, the Commando fills a sub DPS role of stunning and splash damage, not DPS, again kind of like the Trapper. Using it correctly, you can get moments like this where it just annihilates crowds, or it just perma stuns one unit, or even perma stuns a crowd. And although, as you can see here, the Golden Quick Boss is doing more damage than it for a very similar cost, it makes sense. I mean, being completely fair, this is an event tower. They wouldn't want it being as OP and viable as an engineer or Gatling gun or golden unit, but it does have its uses. It's not a trash tower that can't detect anything. I do just wish that the lower levels had the missiles too, so they could be viable as well. So that's how to use the commando, and that's what it can do. If you want advice on buying this tower or not, compared to some of the other tower game passes, this honestly is one of the better event towers to spend your money on in my opinion. So. If you like this game, go ahead and buy the commando. Just keep everything that I've said about the tower in mind before you do. Hope this video helped you out. If you want more TDS content, feel free to subscribe and comment about it down below. And peace out guys. Have a good day.